world of professional wrestling is currently experiencing a resurgence. On yesterday's episode, we spoke about two companies leading the way, WWE and AEW. On today's episode, we speak on two more companies that's helping to lead the charge, New Japan Pro Wrestling and Ring of Honor. Today is Tuesday, October the 8th, 2019. I'm your host, Rico Banks, and this is another episode of Underground Reggie. New Japan Pro Wrestling has been at the forefront of the current wrestling revolution for much of the past five years, constantly still in the hearts of diehard wrestling fans with their events and wrestlers' performances. As mentioned in yesterday's episode, WWE and AEW are leading the charge of the resurgence. However, many of the top stars of their companies have routes in Japan. Names such as Ricochet, AJ Styles, and even current WWE champion Brock Lesnar have even wrestled in New Japan at some point in their careers. Those are just a few names of the stars in the WWE who have cut their teeth in Japan. AEW superstars, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, and Hangman Page all sold the show in New Japan before helping form the new wrestling organization. Japan has much to offer the pro wrestling world and is still developing stars while maintaining homegrown talent. Okada, Naito, Tanahashi, Ibushi, Evil, and Sonata are all names of veterans in the New Japan company. The company has even bred new stars such as Jay White, who is currently leading the new wave of the Bullet Club, a group founded by current WWE superstars Finn Balor, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson. The faction also has featured WWE superstar AJ Styles and AEW stars The Young Bucks, Hangman Page, and Cody Rhodes. The group still currently consists of homegrown New Japan talents such as Bad Luck Fale, Chase Owens, and the Gorillas of Destiny, just to name a few. This group and others have helped New Japan become a pro wrestling powerhouse. However, it isn't the only company making waves. Another company is Ring of Honor, and we'll tell you why when we return. This episode of Underground Reggie is brought to you by the IMN.com. Music, sports, and entertainment news from IMN Media. Follow the IMN on Instagram at IMN.media. Ring of Honor is another independent professional wrestling company that has helped pro wrestling regain its edge. Throughout the 2000s, the company has featured some of the best talent in the pro wrestling world. As we mentioned earlier, the Bullet Club is one of the biggest groups in the New Japan pro wrestling world. However, many of their stars also work in America for the Ring of Honor Pro Wrestling Company. Former Bullet Club member Marty Scurll still currently works for the company, and there he heads his villain Enterprises faction. Ring of Honor has helped launch the careers of many of WWE and AEW's top talents. The list includes WWE's Daniel Bryan, Seth Rollins, Sami Zayn, Samoa Joe, and Kevin Owens. It also includes AEW's Cody Rhodes, The Young Bucks, SCU, and Hangman Page. Ring of Honor continues to feature some of the biggest independent wrestling talent in the world. Juice Robinson is a performer that started in WWE's NXT system before becoming a household name in New Japan. He continues to work for both New Japan and Ring of Honor. Other Ring of Honor talents include the Briscoe Brothers, Jay Lethal, Kenny King, and Dalton Castle. The current champion is the brute performer Rush, an emerging industry talent. Ring of Honor continues to develop talents from multiple regions of the world. Examples of these talents include Bandito and Dragon Lee, two wrestlers who have styles similar to AEW's Lucha Brothers tag team, a team that consists of brothers Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr., These talents have helped make Ring of Honor an independent wrestling force. The 2019 pro wrestling scene is destined to continue growing, a thing that fans are happy to see happening. Big things are on the horizon for the sport, and we all can't wait to see. Thanks for listening to another episode of Underground Reggie. I'm your host, Rico Banks. Make sure you follow the I'm In on Instagram at imn.media. We'll be back with another episode soon. Stay tuned. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.